um, everybody saw the news story about Mori saying that, uh, you know, uh, when being uh, asked by the Asahi Shimbun, a liberal leftist trendy newspaper, um, what are you going to do with the new targets about having 40%, at least 40% women on all boards associated with the Olympics? And he said, well, you know, we have women, they're just going to be competitive and they're just going to want to talk all the time and, you know, they're going to make the meetings go slower. So, no, I'm not really for it. And, you know, um, what's remarkable that the former prime minister would say something like this is um, that he hasn't said it like every single day, like until now. How has he gone so long without saying something like this? Now that you think about it, it's actually remarkable. Um, when he was prime minister, and, and I do, I've, I've said it a million times before, he was the worst prime minister Japan has had post-war. I've heard people say that Konoe, like during the war, was the worst prime minister Japan's ever had. But number two, maybe in the 20th century or 21st century. Um, you know, he was forced to resign, um, being thrown under the bus by his own cabinet secretary when um, a, a fishing boat was sunk by an American submarine when its nets got caught by a submarine off Hawaii. Uh, a bunch of school kids died. There was a national crisis and he wouldn't rush to the emergency room because he was uh, playing a game of golf with money on it. And he didn't want to be disturbed that he sort of, uh, you know, uh, among other, many other steps and the fact that he would just basically constantly gaff and not even gaff i mean a gaff implies uh, you know splitting something out by accident it's not by accident he completely believes what he's saying the, the the guy should not be in charge of a freaking you know i mean i don't want to say what well, I, I, I could whatever lowly job i could think of that he shouldn't be in charge of i wouldn't want to say it because most people who do lowly jobs are respectable honorable good people and this guy is not he should not be in charge of anything and yet they put him in charge of the rugby world cup and the olympics um, so look, I, I, I won't go into too much depth about this, but everybody saw this. Um, this guy is not fit for being in charge of an organization. The reaction to it, um, for a start, the Olympics minister is a woman and the, the governor of Tokyo is a woman. And they were both dumbfounded and kind of mortified by it. But at the same time, they both know this person and what a doofus he is. Um, more concerningly, and what the Tokyo uh, governor also pointed out, apart from the flood of complaints to the Tokyo prefectural government about the statement, I mean, again, it's a bit like writing the letter to the to the newspaper. Now they send people send complaints to the governor in Tokyo, but more than that, uh, a large number of volunteer workers for the Olympics who are already probably struggling for motivation for the fact that it's been delayed by tw twelve months and uh, is still during a pandemic, and it seems like a terrible idea to do anyway. The fact that they're doing this volunteer, they're, they're pro promising to be volunteers, giving up days and days of personal time to support the Olympics when it's being run by a guy who thinks that, you know, chicks shouldn't talk. <laughs> uh, and sincerely believes that. And just, just for an idea that, that, that it was this a misspeak, um, yeah, apart from the fact if you saw his apology press conference where he was supposed to come in, where he retracted the comments and apologized and now I'm going to get on with the business of running the Olympics, he, um, you know, when people sort of pushed him, or, you know, do you think this is a sufficient? Is that, well, what do you think, Bozo? He basically just started, uh, you know, attacking the journalists who were asking him more questions. And then on a talk show, like after that, where he went on TV, he said, well, you know what? I mean, it's not like what I was saying about women was completely without basis. So, you know, it's like it was completely insincere um, national embarrassment up and down. I mean, it, it, it's like the case of having the embarrassing failure, failed job manager where they've tried to put him in some, you know, department where they think he won't cause any trouble like PR. <laughs> they put him in a highly, you know, like what were they even thinking allowing him to be in charge of the Olympics in the first place? Of course, this is going to happen. And the only theory that I can think about this making sense is perhaps the governor said, or the, the prime minister told him, Hey Yoshiro, I know that you've been, you know, you've been really good, sort of holding holding it quiet until now. But I think I think the media really needs to get to know the real you. Why don't you go and tell the Asahi exactly what you think about women being on the board? <laughs> you know, as a secret plot to get the Olympics cancelled. Uh, seriously, I, I kind of said that as a joke, but it could kind of be real because that wasn't a gaffe. That was him being him, actual his actual self. Um, just what an absolute disgrace. And for me as well, it's kind of like as much as I've kind of been like, well, you know, I don't see how they're going to have the Olympics, but if they have them, good luck to them. And, you know, I hope, hope they, they do well. Um, what what an absolute joke. I mean, uh, yes. So anyway, outrageous. Um, the outrage is justified. It is continuing. It's a, seriously actually affecting the culture and morale of the Olympic organization. And uh, look, the Olympics aside, he should not be in charge of it. It's just simple as they shouldn't be in charge of anything. 
So, uh, yeah, that's uh, former Prime Minister Morgan.